Yeah, what's up? What's up, y'all? <clears throat> keep this 100. Keep this a brick. Keep this a thousand. How y'all feel? Yeah, that young lady that passed away. Everybody trim, you know, <clears throat> everybody talking about it. It's, you know, it's still trending on YouTube and other uh, social media platforms. But I, I had done, a, you know, I done a video about uh, the young lady that passed away. You know, sad what what took place down uh, Mexico and what happened to the young lady. But let's talk about jealousy. Jealous pe jealous people are dangerous people. If you have discernment, if you have wisdom, if you have understanding. If you see the signs, hanging around. That kind of flock, if you know they don't have good intentions for you, leave them alone. Stop trying to make people your friend. Stop trying to make frenemies, frenemies, frenemies your friend. One day, they, one day you, you, don't, you don't got time for that shit. One day, they're your friend. Then the next day, they're not your friend. Then, then they're your friend this day. Then they're not. Then, uh, no, 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 no. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. See, some of y'all, y'all feel as though y'all need attention. Y'all seek attention. Att you know, attention seeking whores. Stop, stop being a prostitute and, and trying to seek attention on social media. Everyone ain't going to love you on social media. Everyone ain't gonna love you on virtual reality. Everyone ain't gonna love you in reality. Vice versa. Everyone ain't gonna love you. Everyone ain't gonna support your dreams. Everyone ain't happy for you. You got to know this. And to the ones that are, that's, that's genuinely, you know, genuinely true to you, those are the people you roll with. And stop hanging around people if they're not on your level. That means they ain't trying to improve their lives. So guess what? You're gonna be the vet. You're gonna be the mark for them. They just sitting there leeching on you. They ain't trying to do they ain't trying to better themselves. Leave them kind of people alone. Cause they will be detrimental to your well being. I had to cut a lot of people off. It, it it's called life, folks. It's called life. It's called life. Leave them alone. You only got a few friends, uh, people, brothers and sisters. You only got a few friends out here. That's it. The vast majority of them, they want to see you dead. They just don't like you. They don't like the way you walk. They don't like the way you talk. They don't like the way you dress. They don't like the way you finesse. They don't like you. Leave they motherfucking ass alone. Cut them off. Even some family members. I can't stand when people, I see it on them. It, it, it emanates off of them. The way they talk, it, they can't even talk right. They, they, they face, con, their face cont contortions and shit. Their body language, it's a sign of, I don't, can't, I can't stand this Negro. Well, guess what? The feeling is mutual. Okay. You, you let me know about it, your actions and your signs. I don't have to say nothing. I will make myself unavailable. And I will make myself disappear. I will make myself don't call me. Don't. It's no talking. It's no communication. It's cut off. This is how. This is what you do. You don't try to make. You don't try to force no one to like you. Fuck that shit. No. And again, how they living? Don't they financially don't have nothing? Uh, 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 they, uh, you know, they living on a, uh, uh, on a, on a low end. They're not getting nothing from the back end. They living on the low end. Huh. They're not getting nothing from the back end. You feel me? They living on the low end. Meaning they ain't trying to, they, they ain't trying to do nothing. So they become hanger ons. They become parasites. They become freeloaders and leeches. And per, you know, and you don't need to evolve, especially if you got it going on, male and female, vice versa. You got it going on. What the fuck? You hang with people like that? 
You got to understand they going through something. Whatever it is, whatever, whatever it is. You done gave them advice. You see this and they ain't trying to change. They should tell you something. I'm going to tell a person one time when I see, when, when I see them, when I see them humming and bumming and scumming and scheming and can I have, I only tell them one time and I'm done. Cause you gonna bring my. This is like it's like it's like it's it's just like when hooligans go into a, a high price community, but high price homes, they bring the property value now. Cause they bring all that shit into those uh, prestigious places, so they bring the property value now. No one want to live around a bunch of rowdy ass shooting up the place, smoking up the place, cussing all in the street, pissing and shitting all over the place. No one do alcoholism. Partying day and night. No one want to live around, especially when you, you know, you have arrived and you didn't got out your humble beginnings and came from a place like that. Sirens every day, walking down the street, seeing someone, someone's head cracked the fuck open, brains on the motherfucking uh, uh, pavement, and all that shit. Those, those who experience that kind of shit, seeing dead bodies and shit. Multiple dead bodies where you live at, and you didn't got out of that place. You wanna, you wanna live in a community, and that shit comes to that community. That's why people do these uh, white flights and black flights that know what's going on. Oh man, fuck this! this oh, now we got this shit over here. It's time for me, you know, refinance this motherfucking home and get the fuck away from these people because they're gonna bring the property value now. And and and, and I, I'm trying to raise my kids in a, in a somewhat good environment. See, it's all about life choices. What you want? You want you want to hang around a bunch of a, a no conniving, no good ass people, leeches, freeloaders, jealous motherfuckers, or you want to live a productive spiritual, you know, a spiritual life, a somewhat cultured life, and, and live a positive life. This is not about me trying to be better than other people. And and and, and, and let me tell you something, people, and people have the audacity I, I even got this from certain people oh man you think you all that that's it they cut off so they let me know they let me know right there in my mind they let me know they don't like me so what you what, what you expect me to be nothing you what you expect me to be on your level Complaining about the world, complaining the world don't give a fuck about your feelings. You gotta get out here and jump off the porch and, and find your niche and find out what you want to fucking do or suffer. That's the way it works. Don't expect me to don't expect me to hold your nuts. You gotta hold your own. You gotta get some kahunas. Seriously. So, oh man, you think you better than us? That's it. They cut off. I mean, that's it. I don't got time for that because those kind of people, they, they devious. Because they letting you know they don't like how you moving. Because they ain't moving accordingly. They bullshitting. They procrastinating. Procrastination is death. I could have. I should have. I would have. I get away from people like that because they bullshitting around. They're wasting time. They're not trying to find out what they need to do. They, they haven't found out their God-given talent or goal. And they're not pursuing it. So guess what? They stay stagnated. And let me tell you something. Like I've I done a lot of videos about this. You've got to find out what you want to do for the kingdom. If you don't, if you don't find out what you want to do for the kingdom, I'm talking about the kingdom of God. If you don't find out what you want to do for the kingdom, you're going to suffer. It's going to be short-lived. Everything you do is not going to amount to nothing because you're not living accordingly to the scriptures and you're not living a productive and a holy life. So you, so if you're not living a holy life, guess what? You're living a devious life. That's a given. And in turn, you get jealous of other people because they're living a productive and a good life. And they carefree, they free-spirited and stuff like that. And they doing what they got to do to get the guap, to get the money. They got nice whips, got nice cars, but they put in the effort to get the shit. They put in the scholarship to get the shit. What the fuck is you doing? Nothing. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. So, I can go on and on and on about this. I hope y'all got the, you know, got the gifts of, you know, got, got, the, got the gibs or the gifts of this. I hope you got the gift of gab of this. You feel me? 1,000. Wake up, y'all. Stop fucking with people like that. Surround yourself around people that's go-getters. Until, 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 until the coffin drop. Until you're gone. 
Stop hanging with no people that don't have no clue. They don't have a clue. Stop fucking with them. Because they're going to be your demise. I'm out.